Hi guys, Magic here. I'm gonna try and show you how to flash stock ROM on Elephone B5000. I followed Ethan's tutorial and I'm gonna try and show you how to do it. Okay, first of all, here's Ethan tutorial, drivers, flash tool, you need both of them. My computer is running Windows 7. 64 bits version, okay. Here is my device manager. As you can see, still haven't turned on the phone. Flash tool and driver pack. Okay, I'm gonna start by installing the drivers. Okay, driver installation, driver auto installer, install. Okay. Pop up saying that it's not signed, install anyway. And I'm going to pause the video, okay, install anyway again, like I said, I'm going to pause till it finish. So we're back, try to install complete, press any key, okay, as you can see, here's my Elephone B5000, it's currently running MIUI latest version, okay, and you guys okay here it is p5000 miui okay i'm gonna turn it off off the phone off and okay it is off connect it to the computer <laughs> But before connecting it to the computer, I'm going to install one of the drivers we're going to need later on. So, I'm going to, with the phone off, volume down, power, telephone logo comes up, release power, and still keep volume down, pressed, and wait. It's going to take a few seconds to give us... This okay, you can release the buttons. You, you can see some sort of bootloader. I don't understand Chinese, so okay, continue on connecting the phone to the computer. It's connected, and we got a new driver well, two new drivers Android phone CDC 0. CDC 0, as you can see, is already auto installed because we installed the drivers and also Android driver. Also installed, okay, fine, okay. As you can see, we have this driver and that one, okay. We're gonna unplug the phone again, press power, keep on pressing power until the phone should turn off by itself, okay. Pressing power, okay, it's off. Let's see if it boots. Okay, it's booting. Let's wait till it boots. So we're gonna start flash tool. Okay, I don't need the drivers. I got already here flash tool. Okay, I have already scattered. Imagine that you're on desktop, the ROM folder, bins, scatter file. Okay, here's flash tool. Down only, only if you want to upgrade something because you can remove and take the recovery and use the data, for example, for not wiping the phone. But for now, we're going to do a firmware upgrades. All is marked. The phone has boot up again, so we're going to turn it off. Oops, sorry. Off. And wait till it's off, okay? As you can see, it's just waiting for the phone because I pressed download. Let's look for the device manager. Let's see what happens here, okay? Okay, the phone is off. Just with the phone off, insert the USB. Okay, here it is. And 
it's installing your software again preloader auto install it and you got an error okay this is normal we got this error it's not about to happen okay just press ok remove the button press download again it's gonna wait for the phone let's try it again with the phone off just insert the cable okay as you can see it started download so the first time it was installing the the driver that is why it did not start flashing the phone for now we're gonna leave it as you can see the phone is still connected there's a progress bar there it's very fast this takes like a minute or two to flash the entire ROM as you can see let me try and show you okay here you are here on the bottom you can see progress bar and I'm gonna wait till it finish remember guys you need to back up your phone because before doing this because all of your data will be lost so be careful at, at least 50% uh, of battery of course because it's a bit dangerous this procedure we don't want to want to lose all of juice okay download okay close look at my phone remove the cable and you're gonna press and hold power button okay alien phone logo okay the phone is gonna take a bit longer to boot up because we wiped all the phone so it's now it's gonna build the files let's just wait for the boot boot sound then I'll pause it okay here we go boot sound if you don't mind I'll pause it the video till it's finished booting okay here we go again welcome and it's good this happened as you can see Android phone has stopped okay welcome okay this is a small bug this happens because i have already inserted my sim cards to fix this just need to go to settings in settings okay settings date and time it's gonna take automatic time zone as you can see i've already got my sims here so i hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you.